everybody. Welcome to another episode of Inside the Tigers. Now the team's been busy lately, so today I'm meeting our guy for a morning cup of coffee. Let's hope he doesn't keep me waiting. And Riley Green sends a bomb. Deep right field. That ball is out of here. Hello. Josh Harrison softly to center. Green coming hard, he dives, and he makes the grab! <laughs> He's a human highlight reel. Man, is he special, huh? Riley Green, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good! Nice to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. Getting a good cup of coffee. Um, let's see, I am going to do, I'll do an iced coffee, I'll do a medium. And then I'm gonna do an iced coffee too, just black. Cool. All right, Riley, is this part of the usual routine, going to get your morning cup of joe before heading to the park? Oh uh, yeah, we usually, we'll just, we'll just mobile order Starbucks. We'll just drive by, pick it up, and head to the field around like 12.30. But yeah, I'm not, I've never been here before. Uh, the coffee's actually really good, so I might, I might be coming here more often. All right. Well, Detroit, you've been here a few months now. How do you feel you're settling in? Well, I love it. You know, I'm here, I'm here in Royal Oak, you know, just, I love this area. There's a bunch of restaurants, you know, a bunch of coffee shops. You know, I just feel like there's just so much to do here. So I, I, feel, like, I feel like I did a good job on picking this area. When you're out and about, like at places like this, you get recognized? Here, no, I haven't been recognized. Like, like I went to some taco place, no one recognized me there. I went to Bar Louie, no one there. So it's pretty, it's actually pretty good that no one recognizes me, just so I can, you know, relax, you know, hang out with my friends and stuff. You kind of like being under the radar oh, yeah. a little bit? Oh yeah, I love it. To shallow right center field, and Riley Green dives and makes another spectacular grab. Well, this is, the beginning of your major league career now being here in Detroit, but the dream I'm sure started a while back. When did you first love the sport of baseball? I started playing baseball when I was three years old. I started playing t-ball when I was three. Um, I don't know, just, you know, me and my dad would just be like, you know, sitting on the couch and I'd get up and grab like a tennis ball and we'd sit there and throw it in the house for, you know, hours. And my mom would always yell at us because we'd always break stuff. But um, you know, probably around like three or four, that's when I started loving it, just because my dad you know, always put a ball in my hand and you know, we were always doing something baseball related. So you know, probably around three or four, um, and then you know, grew up, you know, got, to, got to middle school, you know, was playing travel ball with my best friends, you know, having the greatest times of our lives, and got to high school, and you know, I was still with my best friends. Literally, my travel ball team was my high school team. So you know, we, we all knew each other. We all had that chemistry together. You know, we were really good. So, you know, just being able just to be around my friends made me love the game even more. Were there ever any other sports involved, or it was always baseball? I was, I was really good at basketball, like really good. I could pass. I could shoot. I could do it all, to be honest. But um, my freshman year of high school, I asked my coach. I was like, "Hey, can I go try out for basketball?" And he goes, "Absolutely not." I said, why? He goes, because you're too good at baseball. I said, all right, fine. And, you know, thank God he told me no, because I always used to get hurt in basketball. What was, the, okay, what position did you play? In basketball? Yeah. I was a point guard and a shooting guard. I was tall, but I could really, really handle the ball. I'm going to be honest. I was good. I was good at it. If I went on Google, could I find some, some videos of you playing basketball? Maybe some dunks? You might. You might be able to. when you fully decided to commit to baseball, and even just when you were young, realizing how much you loved the sport, did you always think it would be a possibility for you to make it to the big leagues one day? Um, when I was a freshman in high school, and I saw, and I saw all the scouts coming out, for the older guys we had on the team, we had some, we had some older pitchers that were really good. Um, I realized, you know, if I work hard enough, that could be me one day. And then I got to, I got to like my junior year. There's a couple scouts at our games, and then, um, and then senior year, we had me and my buddy Vaughn, who's who's up with the Braves now. We um, there was a bunch of scouts there every night, and it was it was a cool it was the coolest feeling ever, you know, being able you know, to be in that position, 
with him and you know being looked at by all those guys and you know, around around junior year I realized that you know maybe there's a shot I can make it into pro ball and then um, the senior year came around and I did it so it was pretty cool. At the time what you thought it would be like being a pro baseball player if you were able to get there now that you're actually in those shoes do those dreams live up to the reality of what it is? Oh yeah yeah it's, every, it's everything I dreamed of and more you know being able to be up here in the big leagues you know it's a it's a blessing you know it's awesome and I'm so excited to be here and you know I'm taking it all in. Riley Green with a leadoff triple here in the first and the crowd loves it. You know one thing after the, the next you know trying to pack up all my stuff you know trying to get on a flight and trying to catch a flight it was it was a lot but then once I finally got to Detroit you know it was awesome. This one is belted out to left center field. Back goes Riley Green looking up, and he makes the grab. Unbelievable play right there. What's the rehab process been like for you? Well, I was in a hotel for two months. I drank a lot of Starbucks coffee and ate a lot of Starbucks breakfast, you know, just resting. But um, once I got through that, it was good. Like, once I got back on the field, I was feeling good. A little awkward, you know, swinging, but, like, I think it was my third game back, I had had a homer and a single, and I was like, there it is, there's that feeling back. And, you know, like once I got to that, like I was good, but just like, just mentally trying to figure that out is exhausting, but, you know, it takes time and, you know, I figured it out and I'm feeling really good now. So here we are today, two months later, so. Going back to spring training, you started off doing so well and then you suffered the injury late in spring training. How hard was that time for you when you knew this was going to be, you know, a big year for you? Yeah, it was, it was tough to grasp, you know. You know, having a good spring training, you know, about to go into the season feeling really good, and then, and then I break my foot, and then I'm in Lakeland for, for two months or whatever. It was tough. It was tough to, it was tough to handle. But, um, you know, we got through it, and we're back up here. You know, I was really... I was really mad when that happened just because I was feeling good at the plate and it's hard to get that feeling back like right away. So it took me a little bit to get that feeling back but then and once I did it was good. Is it mentally tough? Uh, yeah, it was a little mentally tough, you know, seeing seeing them playing, you know, and I was and I was sitting there, you know, you know, in my hotel room having to having to rehab every day. But you know, I was I was watching every single game, you know, keeping up with them. You know, watching Torque, I watched Torque hit, hit his first like three homers or something. I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it was tough, you know, just you know, not being able to be there with him and, you know, enjoy that time with him. But we're here now together, so that's all that matters. Exactly. Well, June 17th, that was a big day. Mm -hmm. It was. Tell me exactly where you were, what happened, what does that signify to you? We were in Massachusetts with, with, uh, with Toledo. And, um, and I got pulled into the office, and at the time our manager had COVID, so our hitting coach was talking to me, and he was like, he was asking me questions like about like the day, and didn't think anything of it or whatever. And I just happened just to peek down real quick, and I saw like a mini GoPro like sitting like sitting next to me. And I was like, oh, it's probably just there for like the camera guys to use, you know, like on the field or something. I like, didn't think anything of it, and he told me I was going to the big leagues. And it was all just, you know, one thing after the, the next, you know, trying to pack up all my stuff, you know, trying to get on a flight and trying to catch a flight. It was, it was a lot. But then once I finally got to Detroit, you know, it was awesome, you know, kind of settled down, you know, saw, saw all the guys. And once I got into the game, you know, it was just like, it was just like, now that happened. And it was just like me in the game and, you know, focus on the game. And it was, it was a lot of fun. No one does truly realize kind of the, the process or the stories behind when guys get called up. For you, did you ever get a chance to kind of settle in, soak in the moment, or was it just so fast paced? It was, it was very, very fast paced. Like it was, it was just like, you know, get on a flight, you know, try to get there as fast as possible, you know, and then and get all ready, get all my clothes I need for the game. And then it was the game. And after eating with my parents and family and friends, and, and once I got to settle down, it was probably 
it was probably that night around like one o'clock. I was like, okay, I can breathe now. You know, it's all over, the day's over. You know, just relax and, you know, take it all in. What do you remember about your first at bat that next day? Softly to left center. There it is, Wiley Green's Major League debut. A success with a single to left center. I remember being left on left, and I was like, I'm going to get a slider. I know I'm going to get a slider. And um, threw me a slider kind of kind of in on my hands, and, you know, I got jammed and hit it over the shortstop's head. But that was um, that was pretty cool, you know, being able to get that person out of the way right away and, you know, just being able to see that and being able to, you know, share that moment with my family. Have you ever felt as many nerves in your career as you did that at bat? I was I wasn't really nervous for my debut. I'd say I'd say I've been I've been more nervous in these other games than I was for my debut. I don't know why. I, I just like I was just like so excited to be there and you know I was ready to go and you know it was kinda it's kind of you know I was waiting a long time for this moment and you know once it happened, you know, I was I was so excited and I wasn't even thinking about being nervous. I was just thinking about getting that hit. Well, he got that out of the way quickly, yeah, didn't he? Good for him. You know, it's tough to stay locked in for for nine innings, a hundred some pitches, whatever it is. You know, that's my goal every night, just to try to stay locked in and be ready every single pitch. Well, I was an athlete back in my day. I want to see how you and I stack up, and let's see what what each of us can catch. All righty, let's do it then. <laughs> okay. All right, so hey, we're both lefties too. We are both lefties. So what I if we it. don't drop it? Okay, never mind. She dropped it. <laughs> we, we did, all right. <laughs> wow. You gotta throw it high, because the wind's gonna probably push it that, that way. I feel like we bit. gotta get closer for this. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. No? No, make it harder. Easy, that was money. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Just saying I'm winning, I have two in my, in oh my, my net god, right now. Oh my god, that's not fair. Look who's holding the truck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anything in life that you're not good at catching? Because when I put you to the test, you beat me five, five to nothing. I'd say I'm pretty average at golf, maybe below average at golf. Um, tennis, I'm pretty good at. I love playing tennis. It's so much fun. Okay. Lacrosse, I'm terrible at lacrosse. Cannot, cannot catch the ball in a lacrosse stick whatsoever. I don't know why, I just can't do it. Okay. Um, but I, I was actually, I've played lacrosse, so maybe that's one thing I could actually get you <laughs> at this time if we did that challenge. That's an RBI double for Riley Green. Fly ball, left center field. Riley Green dives and he makes another gem of a grab. Kind of reflecting on these last couple months, what have been some of your proudest moments? Um, definitely the walk-off. Walk-off winning the game against the Royals. That was actually my first walk-off ever in my, my whole life. Ever? Ever. Wow. And um, it was really cool, you know, to be able to win the game for the team. And, you know, seeing all their reactions, you know, seeing Miggy's smile on his face when, when I when I crossed home play, you know, it was just it was just awesome. Um, then a couple of the catches, you know, you know, it definitely hurts making those catches, but but after the fact, it's cool. So, is there one that kind of sticks in your mind, like man, that really that one really hurt? I can't believe I actually, I just did that. Actually, it happened in um, against the Angels. Center field, Green giving chase, leaps and makes the came out of the glove. I was going back into the gap, kind of misread the ball, tried to make up for it, you know, jumped up and out, which you're not supposed to jump up and out. I did it, threw my glove up, I had it in my glove, and then I hit the warning track and it popped out, which made it hurt even more, to be honest. <laughs> Double the pain. Yeah, probably gonna you know try to get a better route on that one next time, just so I don't have to do that. Yeah, your defense has been something that's obviously been shared and talked about. Has that athletic ability always been there? I mean, I wouldn't say it really has to do with being athletic. I would say it has to do with being prepared, at least for me. You know, I feel like I feel like I've worked really, really hard on trying to, you know, get to where I'm at today. 
defensively. And, you know, just, just always being ready every pitch, you know, never taking a pitch off. And, you know, it's tough to stay locked in for, for nine innings, 100 some pitches, whatever it is. And, you know, that's my goal every night, just to try to stay locked in and be ready every single pitch. Have you surprised yourself at all with how quickly you were able to adapt? Um, no, not really. I mean, I mean, I felt felt like I was waiting a long time for this moment, and you know, I wanted to be as ready as possible. And you know, I feel I feel like I got myself ready, and you know, was just felt ready to do it. And you know, once the time came, I you know tried my hardest, made sure I was prepared, and you know, had as much fun as possible. Thinking of just the player that you've become so far this year in just a few short months in the big leagues. Have you thought about the player that I guess you hope to become even just in the next few years? No, not really. I've just, I've just been trying to focus on myself this year, you know, just trying to, trying to do whatever I can to help the team win. Whether it's, you know, being a good teammate, making a play, you know, just, you know, trying my hardest every single day. And, you know, I feel like like if I take care of that, you know, in the, in the next couple of years, you know, maybe I'll be the player that people think I'll be. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, just focus on the day, you know, focus on winning the game. Have a night, Riley Green. It's a two-run double. Relaxing was a big thing for me just because, you know, I got up there and, you know, there were times where, like, oh, I want to hit a homer here. Ooh, I want to hit a double. I want to do something here instead of, you know, just relax and just take what the game gives you. I was going to tell you guys I was testing, mic'd up. Testing, testing. <laughs> they, they can hear you, Tor. Oh, there's somebody talking to you here? Yeah, it's Gibby. Yeah, he's up there. Akil, has he got a good voice? Akil has a terrible voice. Let's hear it. <laughs> when was the last time we went to Starbucks together? Two months ago, driving to the field together or something? Yeah. Brian, that was... you drink black coffee? I can change in two months, all right? Well, you changed a lot. Yeah, I, I, I didn't change. I changed my coffee order. What should people know about this group and just the way you guys are heading? We have a really good group. You know, we, we have really good clubhouse vibes. You know, it's always it's always positive. You know, you know when our lineup comes together, we can swing it. You know, we're gonna get it. Whether it's we're gonna finish strong this year. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try to ruin some seasons, and then and we're gonna go out next year and we're gonna play hard. Through the ebbs and flows of this season, have you taken a moment to step back and kind of smell the roses of just where you are right now? To be honest, no. I'm just kind of you know just kind of focus on playing baseball and. You know, when we're not playing baseball, we're playing golf. I haven't really, you know, taken a step back and, you know, really thought about, you know, what has happened and, you know, you know, all the things that are going on. Just kind of, I, like, I feel like that's going to happen in the off season. But, uh, you know, right now, you know, we've just been so focused on playing baseball and, you know, you know, hanging out with each other and having fun. Have you just kind of thought about how much Detroit has really loved you and appreciated you? I guess, do you realize? That? Uh, yeah, I, I see I see some stuff on social media, you know, I get I get some DMs every now and then, you know, from fans, and I think and I think it's awesome, you know, and, and the support from fans for the whole team is is very very important because because you know when we see when we see the stadium filled up, you know, that just gives us you know more adrenaline, you know, you know more of a more of a, like an like an incentive to do something, and you know when we see the fans, you know, it gives us a lot of a lot of energy. When you hear kids and fans screaming your name when you're in the outfield, does it kind of put a smile on your face? Do you like that or? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll turn, I'll turn around. You know, try to, you know, give a wave or a thumbs up or something. You know, just to, just to let them know that I can hear them. So I think, I think it's pretty cool. There's so many different challenges and new things that you've just gone through this year, that you faced this year, and that you've embraced. What do you think maybe is the biggest lesson or biggest thing you're going to take away at the end of this first season up in the big leagues? I would say, I would say take what you get from me. You know, you know, don't try to, you know, do more like than you think you can do. You know, take what you get, you know, stay in the moment and, you know, just relax. Relaxing was a big thing for me just because, you know, I got up there 
And, you know, there were times where like, oh, I want to hit a homer here. Ooh, I want to hit a double. I want to do something here instead of, you know, just relax and just take what the game gives you. I feel like during the off season too is when you can kind of reflect on more things maybe that you want to take away or um, improve on going into next season. What are your plans for the off season? I'm going to do a lot of fishing. I'm going to go to the beach a lot. Um, going to Vegas with my girlfriend to watch George Strait in concert. You're a big country, country music oh, fan? Oh yeah, love it, love it. Um, and then got, I got a couple of weddings I'm going to, my cousin's wedding, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited, I'm excited for, the, for this off season. I guess looking look into the future, what, what's next for Riley Green? Um, I'm gonna go to the field today and you know, try, to, try to help the team win. Straightforward, nice, relaxed answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Black. Okay. I'm, see, I'm not at that level yet. I have to have a little bit of flavor <laughs> some cream. It's too bitter. On the run, still galloping after it. Lady, he got it! Oh my goodness! What a play from Riley Green! <laughs> There's videos on the internet of me dunking. Come on. Come on. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Fly ball, center field. Taylor going back. Still going back. That ball's out of 